Now, it's time to visit the northern region of the country. Join Arenga as he embarks on this journey to visit the northern states. Be sure to be a part of this great epoch-making history. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and always share the videos as they drop. Arenga, the outstanding tourist destination YouTuber in the world. Let's go to the north. TV. From what we heard, we are that the colonial masters came into Adeja through this gate in 1906. in 1906. Can you see how brave they are? A whole emir came out with his people to fight back the colonial masters. The emir killed the commander of the British colonies and uh, uh, in the return, they also killed the Hemia as well. Wow, 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 wow. How many kings can do that nowadays? So, hello, my wonderful people. Um, we are still in uh, Adeja, here in uh, Jigawa State. And uh, from what we heard, we are that the colonial masters came into Adeja through this gate in 1906. Yes. It's through these gates that the colonial masters came, you know, through Adeja. And um, you can see the gate is still there. It's an historical place for people to actually do the day. of Adeja, Aladu Muhammad in Shahada. Okay, it was during the, uh, the Emir of, of Adeja, Aladu Muhammad in Shahada. Al Shahada. So it was during his reign that the colonial masters in 1903 came into Adeja. So, as you can see, for those of you that are Northerners, and for those that are Northerners, it is always good for us to learn more about our cultures and traditions. And uh, history is very, very important. History is very, very important so that our children and our great-great-grandchildren, generations to come, will see this and they will forever you know, appreciate and they also learn more about, you know, uh, the ways of our fathers in the olden days. So this is a Mandara gate, isn't it? Yes, this yeah. is Mandara gate. We call it Mandara, Upper Mandara. Here they follow here, the colonial masters follow here to enter Hadeja. And you know, the great people of Hadeja are so strong. You know, they fight a battle, they, you know, they perform a lot of, uh, you know, they perform a lot of battle wars, we call it wars. So they follow here to enter Hadeja. And the great people of Hadeja did not just sit back and say that they, they, have, they fought they, back. Yes, yeah, so they have to, they fought back Move, uh, up to the time that the Emir of Kano. The Emir of Adeja, the Alhaji Muhammad Meshahada, has even come out himself and put the colonial wow. masters. He wow. put out himself and put the commander. So the, him and the commander also died at that battle. So that oh. is the reason why we are calling him Alhaji Muhammad Meshahada. Is that yeah. we are calling him Alhaji Muhammad Meshahada because the, he come out and perform as, as an hero. Yes, and an, as an hero, he, he killed the commander. The people of the British colonies also should be oh, wow, Amia, so wow, that is it. Wow, wow, wow. Can you see how brave the people of uh, Ajedia are? Can you see how brave they are? A whole Emir, a whole Emir came out with his people to fight back the colonial masters. And from what we heard that the Emir killed the commander of the British uh, colonies. colonies. Yes. And uh, uh, in the return, they also killed the Hemia as well. Wow, 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 wow. How many kings can do that nowadays? <laughs> so can the... our kings <laughs> of today go for battles? Honestly, anyway, uh, the world has been civilized and um, the kings, you know, they make laws, they give orders. So, and uh, if it weren't, I'm sure our kings of today, they would definitely come out to fight. We still have some brave kings and I know them very well. I've heard a lot about some of them that are still living that are very brave when it comes to fighting for people. 
five years. So, and um, look at the environment. See how beautiful As this space see. is. Wow. So they do not allow people to enter here. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is historical in nature, that is why people, just the people of Ahija, all the uh, uh, Emir Palace, all the Emirate decided to close the door, you know, as a historical wow, listing. Wow, wow. You should not be allowing things to be happening here, so that is why you see it closed like wow, this. Wow. And uh, during the the so-called uh, clash, so Captain uh, Phillips died on the 12th of September 1906. He was killed by the Emir then. So wow, 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 wow. So it shows how brave the people of Adagia are. Wow. So it was late here. Okay, brief history. Okay, let, 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 let me read. I can see a sample here. So this is the grave site of Captain H.C.B. Phillips, an assistant resident officer and a leader of British troops that invaded and occupied Adegia in 1906 as part of the British conquest and occupation of northern Nigeria. So in an encounter 25th April 1906, Captain H.C.B. Phillips tried to personally capture the Emir Muhammadu Maishahada, but the Emir in self-defense stabbed and fatally wounded the British officer. Wow, wow who later died of the sustained injuries on the 12th September 99. So, oh, he was stabbed 25th of April. And the injury that he sustained, you know, gradually killed him, September. you know, till the September, 12th September 1906. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Continue to rest. And uh, we, we pray for our Hemia too, you know, for his braveness. Uh -huh. So this grave site or cemetery stands as a <coughs> symbol of resistance by the people of Adegia against British occupation. Wow, wow. So we are bringing you everything you need to know. The history of Adegia, so that if you don't know, now you know you know, uh, the history, the history of background of, of uh, the great people of Adesia. Wow, and it's still there. They just open the building for us to see uh, what the building looks like. The building, wow. The building house in 1932. Uh, 82 years today. Mm. Mm. Wow, wow. The house you is so nice. That is their bank. Mm. That's the bank that they keep money. Yes. <laughs> wow. 
Okay, I guess this is their kitchen. Yes. Yeah, this is their kitchen. Yes. This is where the colonial masters used to cook their food here. Mm -hmm. Delicious meal. <laughs> <laughs> like cabbage and salad <laughs> and uh, like, uh, lettuce. Mm. And this is their store. store. This is their store. Yes. Wow. I think with the little um, go around we did now, you can see the way uh, the colonial building is. So remember, this is the Captain Cliff's residence. So it was built since 1932. I think it is 80 something years now. That's 80 years or so. Where's his own room? Okay, it's inside there. Yeah. Okay, this is for his boys. Wow. Boys quarters. The servants too, as in the workers too of uh, Captain uh, Phillips, they were enjoying as well. <laughs> Look at how gigantic the bed that uh, his boys smith in. And uh, they have a uh, cooking chair, they have wardrobe, they have a uh, toilet. Wow. Ah, it's 90 years. Yes, okay, 90, 90 years. now. 90 years. Oh, not even 80, point of correction, it's 90 years. It's 90 years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. My wonderful people, I want to use this medium to thank our Halhaji here that uh, came with us from the office and our... Uh, what's, what's your name, sir? Uh, uh, Alaji Shitsu, who has also been of help as in taking us around the, the, the room. And uh, we appreciate everybody that has, um, you know, made this uh, visit to Adeja, you know, uh, uh, possible. So we bless you guys and we appreciate you. So till I see you with another wonderful video, I remain your Gia Renga say bye bye and then say Hanju. Ah, yeah, 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 all right.